Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors, and today we're discussing the Blue Eddy AC-180 and why I chose it really for my camping and overlanding life over other systems out there. Uh, in this particular one, we're gonna cover really five main areas. Why I chose this, you know, features and price, uh, specifically how well it fits in the back seat of a Gladiator. Uh, what, what do I connect to it when I'm out camping? We're gonna look at the mobile app and some final thoughts. Hey, there's chapters in the bottom, so if you want to look at all that information, you can, uh, you can skip ahead to where you want to go. If you've been following the channel, I've been doing this overlanding thing for about three years now with Sherburn Outdoors. Thank you everyone for subscribing. The channel's doing great and we're growing at a pretty good clip. But I had bought a 500 watt power station uh, with a 300 or 500 watt hour power station with a 300 watt inverter from Watt Fun. Had no idea what I was doing. As I started staying more and more days from an overnight trip to two, three, four, five days, that power consumption became a little bit more than that could handle, and I started running out of juice pretty quickly. So um, I started looking around. Should I buy some house batteries and put in, or should I maybe look at a bigger power station? Now, I love the house batteries and all the power monitoring systems from Red Arc and stuff, and the guys at the Story Little Now, and Matt over at Ozark Overland Adventures, what they're doing with their stuff. You know, I just don't think I'm there yet. So I, I looked at power stations, and... There's a bunch of them out there, and there's some really good ones from, you know, yeah, EcoFlow, this one. I know Jackery's okay. They've got some stuff. And there's a whole bunch of names you've probably never even heard of as well. I saw a bunch of reviews on this, and I really, really liked it. With that said, I purchased this with my own money. I did not get anything from Blue Eddy. Although, Blue Eddy, if you're watching, I'm open to sponsorship. When I looked at this, I needed uh, a lot of power. I needed a lot of inputs, and I needed something that was in a nice cube shape. Some of these things come in weird shapes with handles up or things pull up. This thing is awesome. It really just fits. It's a cube. You can see it on the side. Nothing weird. The handles are integrated. All of the controls are on the front here. Over the side here, you've got where you plug it in to fire it up. And it is super simple. And on the top, you really got where you got your phone charger. So this thing is great for what I was looking for. It can be a little bit beefy. It's, you know, it's 13.39 length, the height of 12.48, and the width of 9.972, and it is it is 35.27 pounds. So it is a little he healthy. I will say when I've got it in the car though, I'm really not moving it around. It just sits there and, and that's that's all I do with it. Now, this thing is, is a pretty awesome unit. It is lithium iron phosphate batteries in it, which is which is cutting edge type stuff. They give this a 10 year cycle, meaning this can go 3,500 cycles down to 80%. Now that means if you charge this thing every day for the next 10 years, at the end of 10 years, you're gonna be operating at 80% capacity. That is freaking awesome. With that said, they also do have a five year warranty, which is kind of unheard of in these power stations. So I am really liking what I've seen from Blue Eddy so far. Um, and this particular one has a battery capacity of 1152 watt hours. That was very important for me. Even more important than that is it has 1800 watts capabilities. Now 1800 watts will, thought, will really power about anything you need from refrigerator, really anything, hair dryers. I hooked up a heat gun to this. I was getting up you know, about 1500 watts consumptions. So an 1800 watt consumption is pretty, is pretty healthy. You can ramp this thing up and go up to 2,700 watts. I haven't done that. You do it for a very short period of time and then it'll air out at that point. It can take 500 watts of solar in and it's fast charging. I mean, what, what does fast charging mean? My old 500 watt hour unit that I had, it took like six hours to charge. This thing will charge at zero to a thousand watts in 45 minutes called fast charging and you can get the rest of it i haven't really felt like i've went more than an hour and 15 minutes in charging this thing from zero to 100 percent which is crazy and then if you take into account you can do solar with that as well and it is a pure sign inverter for charging from ac units so the solar this can, thing can take in is 500 watts which, you know, is a good bit of solar uh, if you're out in the field and you've got that with you. I take about 220 with me. I actually did buy the Blue Eddy solar panels. They haven't arrived yet, but I'll probably do another video on that. I'm very curious at how fast they will charge this thing. Uh, again, got the fast charging. If we look at what's in the box, it comes with an AC cable. Now, notice it only comes with a the cable. There's not a power brick or a big thing you hang off of that. All that technology is built into here. 
maybe that's why it's so heavy, but there's not extra stuff you got to carry around. You just got the power block here. We've got your standard car charger with the barrel connector on one side. And then we've got some solar charging capability here too that comes with it. So these three things come in the box, really nothing else there. And then it comes with a manual and a warranty card. So really not a lot. It did come very well packed, I have to say. Uh, the outside of the box looked awful. <laughs> They've been beaten up by whoever delivered it, but it came in a box inside of a box, and they do have a 30-day price match. So let's just talk about this. Uh, I bought this for $799. It was on sale on their website. I thought that was a really good deal at the time. <clears throat> the next week, it was down to $699. Getting near to Black Friday, I was like, holy cow, I just, I just, it was $100 cheaper. And the next day, it went down to $669. I reached out to them and said, hey, this is $130 cheaper than what I paid. And I will say, they immediately came back to me and gave me $200 worth of gift certificates to Blue Eddy products without really hesitation. It happened very, very quickly. So they did, they did a 30-day money match with some kind of credits at Blue Eddy. They didn't refund me any money, uh, but I didn't push it because I wasn't going to buy other stuff. But I was very uh, happy with how that went. And the other thing we'll talk about is the Blue Eddy Smart App. We'll do that towards the end of the video, but this does come with a Smart App. They've gotten in line with a lot of the other, other manufacturers that are doing these types of products, and they have one for Android and Apple. We'll look at this on my iPhone as we go along. So if we look at the outputs of this, again, you've got your DC input right here, which is where you can do DC charging or solar charging. You've got your basically your barrel plug here for doing your you know, cigarette lighter type stuff, and it is 12 volts at 10 amps. Uh, you've got your AC outputs. You have four of them. They're 1,800 watts, basically at 15 amps a piece. And then you've got your, your bank here of USBs. Now, this is one of my first gripes, by the way, is it only has one USB-C. It is for 100 watts. But, you know, all of my products now uh, pretty much do USB-C for the most part. And so I would, I would like a, more of those. And then, then, then it does have uh, four USB A's that are good for uh, three amps at this point. And so that's really your outputs. And on the top, we do have some wireless charging where you can put your phone in at 15 watts. This is great. I love these integrated handles. And then on the side, you do have a plug here for your AC. And then it's got this grounding thing. I think this is more if this is a standard stationary thing at your house. We're not doing any of that stuff. This thing runs about $899 to $999 list value. You can usually find it on their website for $799. I would look for a holiday, whether it's Black Friday or whether it's New Year's and Christmas. Usually a watt hour is about a dollar because this has 1,152 watt Hours, you would expect it to be around 1152 bucks. They're more in the 80 cent range, which means they're more economical, but with a lot of value and a lot of quality out of this. So the other thing before we start hooking up a bunch of stuff to this is how this fits in my Gladiator. So when you have one of these, where do you put it? Because this basically is a projectile, so you need to kind of mount it down a little bit. If you lay down the passenger rear seat in a Gladiator, there are two hooks that you can hook this into, which hold the seat in place, and then also uh, one for a, a car seat strap. I hook a bungee cord around the bottom of this to those two straps, and then I hook another one up inside of uh, these handles, and that keeps it in place, but also keeps it from flying away, and it does not move. I did a shakedown run where we went around the Big Frog Loop just to try this out, very bumpy, very ruddy, did it move? Do we have any issues? Had zero issues at all with this. It was pretty awesome, I have to say. So let's, with all that said, let's hook some stuff up to this. Okay, hey, to operate this thing is very simple. You know, we got power on here. We can see our inputs. We can see how much battery we have. We can see how many hours is left. And then we can see how much is going out. I mean, it's a pretty simple display. It's very easy to use. Anybody can do it. Before I start hooking in all the Overlander stuff, I thought we would just hook in a heat gun, a very, something we probably would never do. And it just pops on, you can see we got an AC here, and I love how these buttons are lit up so you can really see them, and you can probably really see them at night too. All right, so we are off and going, that's low. We're running about 822 watts, and let's go high. This jacks us up to about 1500 watts on this heat gun. So you can kind of see how this works and go long. This says it'll go for about 0.7 hours. And so that's a good test. Now, would we be using that when we were out camping? Yeah, almost 100% no. So let's hook some other things to this. Okay, we have most things hooked up. 
that I would have hooked up when we're out camping. So let's take a peek. So we got our blue eddy here. And I've got a bunch of things hooked into it. We'll get to it in a second. But first things first, when you're out in the field, you gotta have a fridge. So I use the Apple Cool 35 liter. I bought this off Amazon many years ago. Whether it's good or not good is a whole nother thing. But uh, I did hook this up on a separate test and this thing went just a little over three days without any additional charging with two huge bottles of water in it, basically at the lowest temperature. So it's just cruising up right now. If we look here on the main display, I've got all my outputs full for my, my USBs, and then I do am using this right here to hook up to our diesel heater, and then this is hooked into our Apple Cool fridge. So this is kind of my setup, and if we look around at the different display or different uh, capabilities, let's start down here with DC. I do a lot of DC connectivity. I've got my DJI audio piece here. I've got my GoPro batteries. I've got my drone batteries. I got some night lights and some other things going. I always have an iPad out with me. And then obviously, you know, if we're stationary, I will have my iPhone hooked to this and it'll be on the, the charging, uh, the wireless charging system on top. You can see right now I'm running about 200 watts. This is really, one reason is the uh, refrigerator is on right now and I wanted to do this because it is starting. And we're also starting the diesel heater, which is probably gonna pull about 100 watts 127 watts as it pulls up and is getting going you kind of you can kind of hear it getting going here and and moving and then obviously i have the ipad for movies we talked about the drone batteries gopro stuff audio stuff and then all of these pieces so this is a real world setup this will go several days without even really recharging for me to be honest when i'm out in the field with these now we're going around each and every day having this hooked into the gladiator so you've got the dc charger here where you can hook this into the cigarette lighter of the car you can get around 100 watts coming into that through the day and it'll charge or i will actually use this watt fun battery pack to hook into the dc and this will get me up to almost 200 watts and it'll charge a lot faster in the car one of the things i like to have when i'm overlanding is a nice cup of coffee and i don't always want to have to rely on having to pull out of the cooking stoves and doing the french press so i have got a k-cup hooked to this and it is pulling just a quick thousand watts and you know when i need coffee i just stop and make it and it's as simple as that. If I wanted to look at this on while I'm driving down the road, I obviously could turn around and look at this, or I could pull up the Magic app, whether I'm in my tent, whether I'm in my living room, or whether I'm driving down the road and not have to look at this. Let's take a look at that. So we talked about being able to monitor this and seeing what's going on with the display down here so I don't have to look. Sometimes you got these things buried in your car when you're moving around. So Blue Eddy delivers a great app for this. It's very simple to use. You will need to sign up for a user ID and password to get it moving, but once you have it installed, it's great. Uh, and it automatically finds your devices and asks you if you want to pair it along. So let's take a look. Here's kind of a, a view of the screen. I'll select, you know, my devices. It's got some other things in here, calculator and stuff, but I just use my devices. Looks here, you can give this a better name. <laughs> but it has my device. It gave it an update a day ago when I was looking at this and we can add devices. So if you had an expansion battery to this or you had some other Blue Eddy products, you could put those on here. I am actually looking at potentially adding the B80 to this to add another 800 watt hours of, you know, capabilities to this to take me up near close to 2,000 watt hours of, of capacity. But right now we've got this AC 180. Let's go ahead and click on it. And when we come in, it searches around for it. It looks and see some things are going on. So I went ahead and plugged in this power watt supply here over to the side so that we had some stuff coming in, inputting, uh, kind of mimicking what we'd have from uh, solar. And then also we've got uh, uh, power going out right now. We've got, I moved, I moved the diesel heater outside so that we didn't die of carbon monoxide poison in here, but it's still connected up, it's on low. And the refrigerator does what a refrigerator does. It turns on, it turns off. Right now it's turned off. And we can see here we've got in the green in the upper left we've got power coming in we got 83 watts coming in right now and then power going out uh, about 24 volts dc and we don't have any ac going out right now so the, everything that we've got hooked to here you know is really not drawing that much power but this gives us some information and we can look around on the screen too we got information on the battery if we want to click on it it'll pull some stuff in it'll run a systems check if we got more than one battery pack expansions it'll it'll let us know and give us some information on that as well 
And then uh, we can turn off at the bottom the AC and DC. You can turn them off from here if, you need, if you're up in your tent. If you're driving and you want to turn those things off or you want to turn the unit off, you can do all that from here as well. Up in the upper right hand corner, we do have some settings. So you can throw away the user manual. It is actually built into here. <laughs> and at the top, if I wanted to and change this to something different, I could change the name of that. Uh, and call it Sherburn Outdoors, you know, AC 180, something like that. Um, do I want to see the home page when I come in? I could turn that off that, so all of that stuff wouldn't be there. Uh, standard charging, you know, we can click on this very easily. We've got standard, silent, and turbo. So I've got this on standard right now. Basically, it'll go around 1,000 watts in. We can turbocharge this up to roughly, I think it's like 1,400 watts coming in for a short period of time. Be careful with that. Over time, you could potentially lessen the longevity of your batteries. And then silent. I guess this turns off the fan a little bit. This thing's really quiet to start with. I'm not sure why you would do that, but hey, it's there. And then uh, these other pieces around the bottom. You got power lifting. If, you, if that 1,800 watts on your AC units was not enough and you needed to go up to 2,700 for a short period of time, you could do that as well, and that's with power lifting. And then eco. All right, so sometimes I have eco on, sometimes I have it off. If I've got my fridge hooked into either the AC or the DC, I will turn eco off. And when, to be honest, when I'm out camping and this thing is not connected to the car, I turn the egos off as well. Let me give you a reason why. I saw someone had a problem with their uh, refrigerator turned off. It was hooked DC, it was, DC was in eco mode, and uh, you know the eco only just timed out. They were in a cold area, and their fr fridge was off for a very long period of time, and they didn't know us. So when I'm out and about, I, I do turn off the eco modes. This thing's got plenty of power for me. If for some reason I started lessening that, I would look at the eco stuff. But that's kind of what it does. And you can configure it too. Like if I wanted to configure not 15 watts, but if it falls below this, something else on the AC power, or you can put in a you know a shutdown period. All right, what else is in here? Uh, auto sleep uh, for the display and then which is you know whatever it is and I, right now it's on a minute we could take that five minutes or never and then firmware upgrades now this is an intelligent unit when you first get it it'll it'll say what the current versions are you can actually click on here to upload you know check it out see what's there if you've got new updates you can do it from here i'm updated already but you this app will keep your unit up to date and there may be a lot of reasons for that um, so what else we got here? We've got some advanced settings. You know, you can go from 60 hertz or 50 hertz, whatever it is you want to set here, and then grill, grid self-adaption. And then here's where you could also do a factory reset. If you want to go back to all the original settings that you might have had in here, which there's not a lot of settings. And that really is it. Oh, and the last piece here is this unbind. This is a really weird, weird term, but you can, you can disconnect this uh, app from this battery. I'm not sure. Feels like you might use more of a Bluetooth term, but they use Unbind here. And that's really the settings for this. So this is a very powerful app, even though it may not be as sophisticated as some other manufacturers out there. I'll be honest with you, it does absolutely everything I need it to do. I can be sitting in the front seat of my car, take a peek at this, make sure this battery is doing what I think this battery should be doing. I can also look at it from my rooftop tent. I don't have to have it up there with me. I got really long cables everywhere. And so I'll have those along with what I'm doing so that I don't have to come down here and look at this and be you know, coming down and pressing the display and what does it say, all of that. Those are a lot of the reasons why I chose the Blue Eddy AC180. It wasn't because someone told me to, it wasn't because Blue Eddy is sponsoring me, which they're not. It was because this is the best uh, power station for my personal need, both in a form factor, both in its capabilities, with the battery technology that it has, with the recharging capabilities that it has. It is a little bulky, is a little weighty, but I will tell you, I love it. Uh, uh, it really doesn't move from the seat that I'm in. That $669 price that I got on it, uh, that, that's really good. You know, right now I think you can look at their website and it's $799 or $899. It kind of fluctuates. We're getting close to Christmas here in 2023. And so you'll see some changes in that, but, but look for the deal. But be on the lookout for this. I am a big proponent of these Blue Eddies. I'm all in at this point in time. I'm looking at buying the B80 that we said. That's about another $500 investment to add to the expansion. And that should have all my power needs uh, set up for a while. I am glad right now that I didn't go with the house batteries and I did use this instead of looking at some other advanced system for my everyday drive, which is right there, which is a Jeep Gladiator Mojave. 
So, hey, I want to thank everybody for really supporting the channel over time. If you got a lot of value out of this, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out. Thanks for everybody's time. Everybody have a great day.